McDavid. Moves in, McDavid goes upstairs! What a goal! Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanius here. Welcome to episode number 20 of this NHL 21 Edmonton Oilers franchise mode here in oil country. If you guys are new to this series or just haven't really watched too much of my channel yet, make sure you go down below. Consider subscribing if you actually enjoy my content. We're trying to hit that thousand sub goal and I know you guys can hit it by the end of the year. Also, make sure you leave a like if you enjoy. Also, feel free to drop comments to possibly get featured, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell to never miss when I upload. So guys, last episode, we beat the Portland Pylons in a crazy playoff comeback, um, and the comment section really went to work, honestly, in this video. So, the first comment here um, comes from Marcus Hunt. He said, hey, been a minute, love the content, you should play more in-game, and that was instantly responded by about three different um three different of my subscribers all jumping on that comment saying i do not concur i don't agree with this um saying that i love franchise modes fantasy drafts but playing makes it mute so or moot sorry i can't speak and my dog's going crazy um and yeah so that's the first thing I really wanted to address in this video was that we are actually not going to play anywhere in this series. We got the Oilers a couple already, yes, but what we are going to do instead here is, um, I don't even know why my commentary is up. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to change the camera angle and we're not going to play either. So we are going to do true broadcast and that is it we are just going to let if we have any in-game showing or action it's going to be played by the computer we're not going to actually play anymore so that is a decision that i'm making based on what you guys said you enjoy and the other comment here that was i had another interesting kind of conversation in this video was with massimo Mor morganti i believe is how you say it i, I might have said it wrong but he said, would you consider bringing back FIFA Manager Career Mode? Um, I've been considering it, guys. I mean, I got FIFA and NBA and a couple other games on Black Friday when everything went on sale. And I've been considering recording those. I just haven't really gotten to it yet. Uh, I'm just trying to finish out my school semester here mainly. That's kind of my main focus right now, aside from this YouTube channel. And um, obviously work, too. I've been working more than part-time and so yeah I, I'm considering it moving into the new year we might be doing a bit more of a mix on the channel rather than just straight NHL even though I do really enjoy the NHL franchise modes but today guys we are actually going to get into this LA King series here and also if you missed last episode go up into that top corner of the video right now there will be a little card there so you can catch up on the entire playlist but this is the team that we're going up against uh, Tim Stutzel, or Stutzla, however you want to say it, drafted third overall by the Kings instead of Byfield, I guess, when we redid the draft. Um, Trevor Wong got drafted fourth overall by them the year after, and I think that's kind of it. They got a 36-year-old Doughty. Um, Gortz is pretty good. Wallander is pretty good. That's kind of the extent of their team besides this goalie here in Will German. German? I don't know how you say it. German, I think. But anyways, um, we are going to be getting into at least some simulations here, if not some actual gameplay, depending on how things go. And by the looks of it, Calgary and uh, Colorado are going at it there in, uh, in the other series in the Western Conference. I don't remember who exactly is in the Eastern Conference right now. It's Philly and New York and then Buffalo and Tampa. Okay, so let's start simulating ahead day by day here. And I think what we're going to start off by doing is just advancing a day or two on the calendar, see if we can get some home wins or not. So, game one of the series, the Oilers lose 4-3. That is a choke to a team like LA who really isn't that great overall. And when you look at their team compared to our team, it should be a walk in the park for us, and it's not, which is entertaining to say the least. So... Yeah, I don't know how this team loses to that team, but we just did, and uh, I'm sure it will 
continue to be possible as we move forward into the simulation more here. So that was not spectacular, but um, yeah, here we go, game two. Hopefully we can get a simulated win. And no, we're down three or down two nothing here heading into game number three. So obviously this has to be a win here. We cannot lose this game on away ice. And Oilers start off up one nothing. Yamel gets the goal there on the power play in the first period. 10 to seven in shots after the first. Second period, it is a 3-1 to game as Eves and Ratty also find the board in the second, and uh, Arthur Kaliev gets a goal for the Kings heading into the third. So finishing off the third period here, let's see how the sim goes, and Lavoie makes it a 4-1 game. So yeah, this is looking pretty good here. 4-2 as Connor Sheary gets one back for the Kings. 5-2 as Pugliarvi extends that back to a three-goal lead for the Oilers, and then 6-2 as Yamamoto gets one. So the Oilers definitely bounce back here in game three you'll love to see that and uh it's looking good here for sure the oilers are definitely in a better spot now so yeah at least we're uh not gonna get swept but that's about the best i can say right now unless the oilers win the next two in a row after this game then we will see so calgary up to one as well philly up to one and buffalo up three nothing my goodness so tampa who is the defending uh, prince of wales winners there is getting bested by buffalo okay so heading into game four in la again we start off up one nothing william eaves gets the only goal in the first period 10 all on shots second period five nothing as eaves goes off for a second then yamo dry and verana all get goals there as well to really finish this game off 25 to 20 in shots i'm just going to simulate the third period quickly here because this game is essentially over ratty and stutzla both getting goals there we outshoot them 40 to 29 on shots so i'd say that was a pretty solid performance eves gets first start of the game with two goals and five hits so that's good you like to see the simulation going that way um but we have really been cursed on home ice so far that's kind of what i've noticed so let's see if we can kind of turn that around see if we can get a third win in a row here in this series and first period starts off one nothing for la as trevor wong scores the goal there second period it's two nothing for la so we're gonna jump in watch some live action gameplay i'm gonna commentate over it and do I have to play? I guess I do, so I'll have to jump in and like switch my controller to the middle. God, I hate that LA glitch. It's only the LA Kings where their jersey is their old ass jersey that looks like crap. Third period underway here. Let's see what the Oilers can do on home ice after a pretty atrocious first two periods. So, face off one down with David going over to Chicharin. Chicharin gonna break in down the side looking for a pass. Finds a chance there, but not able to finish there was Jakob Brown. Pass sent up to William Eves. He's got some space. He's going to cut back, send it in to McCarr, who tries to shoot and just could not get a shot off again. LA's defense proving to be good. In front, William Eves scores. What a pass. Who set that one up? That was a gorgeous pass under the corner, and William Eves was left the hold in front. This is the of the playoffs this year. Jakob Brown finding the power forward in front. Is an easy tap in there with such a gorgeous pass. So, I mean, as I'm talking about how good LA's defense is, they totally miss a guy right in front of the net. And uh, that might prove to be costly if Edmonton can get another goal here quickly. Halfway through the third, it's a long goal game. And with 33 seconds left, the time is really ticking down as Edmonton goes offside. Just no quality play really here from the Oilers. They have just been below average considering they finished top five in the league in, in regular season standings. So empty net now, only about 20 seconds left, and there's really not enough time here for the Oilers to get anything done as Connor Sheary hits the open net and gives the Kings the win. So not exactly a spectacular performance, but that's how it goes sometimes. So, yeah, this is uh, this is NHL 21 for you guys, and this is the Oilers choking like usual. So, um, we go down 3-2 here. Looks like the uh, Avalanche got a game back there too, but um, it might be too little too late here as Edmonton just has not performed up to the proper standards here. So, 
Game six, Edmonton facing elimination. Starts off up to nothing as McDavid and Verona both get goals in the first. Edmonton outshoots the Kings 15 to 6. Second period, it is still a 2 0 game as LA really shows up, starts to perform here and get some shots, but just could not get a goal. Power play for the Oilers does not convert. LA putting some pressure on by themselves there, getting a power play that also doesn't convert. Edmonton misses another power play. And this game really doesn't look like it's going to change too much in score here. Leon Dreisaitl makes it a three-goal game. Power play for the Oilers yet again does not convert. That's over like three or four on the night at least. And Edmonton takes game number six, three nothing, heading back to Edmonton at Rogers Place here for game number seven. So Ilya Samsonov stops all 32 shots, gets first start of the game, and uh, well, we'll see if the home ice advantage curse continues here as Edmonton has quite literally been cursed on home ice you look at this home game home game two losses away game away game we win home game we lose again I don't understand it so who knows if the Oilers will actually be able to get this win or not here this is uh this is the decisive game of the series no questions asked there as looks like three out of the four series here are going to seven games in the conference semifinals so here we go first period of game seven Edmonton starts off with the lead nine to six on shots as Verana converts on the power play that is something we have not seen this series yet is the Oilers properly converting to start off the game second period it's a two to one game as Dreisaitl nets another power play goal in just a minute and 10 seconds left in the second. And then 52 seconds left, Stutzla scores on a shorthanded goal. Edmonton out shooting the Kings 20-15, to but we will see if this continues here. Heading into the third period, which we are definitely going to highlight. I just got to get my dog to start barking in the background because that's all he's going to do here. So is there? there's no option for me to not... Oh, wait, CPU versus CPU game. That's what I wanted. All right, so here we go. You guys, again, let me know in the comments what you think of the true broadcast or if it should just be regular broadcast. What do you want to see? So here we go. Third period underway. McDavid and Anderson Dolan facing off here. Edmonton on the power play. For another 50 seconds, let's see what they can do as they go to work. William Eves right in front. Great chance there for Dreisaitl, who was not able to convert it, though. Dreisaitl over to McDavid. Another big save there by Will Jr. As uh, the Oilers are creating chances here. More just a matter of actually putting those pucks away. So, first unit still out on the ice. They did give up a shorthanded goal to end off the period, but... We'll see if that continues here or what's going to happen as L.A. does flip the puck out. Bouchard going to stop it up. And Edmonton going to get set back up here as McDavid drives the puck in deep, sets up. Pass over to Dreisaitl. Great chance. Great save by Will German as that puck probably should have been in the net. Puck's going to get flipped over. Doughty going to get it up to Bjork who is going to turn it over right at the blue line. Not a great spot to lose the puck there, but over to Eves. He's looking to shoot. Great chance. It flips in over top of Will German. And William Eves does convert on the power play with an absolute fluke of a goal. What a way to go up 3-1 here in this game. That was an absolutely circus shot there by William Eves my goodness <laughs> so William Eves goes to shoot it deflects off the defenseman and Doughty yeah, slamming his stick on the ice after I believe that one did deflect off of him yeah went off of Doughty's foot up into the air and over top of Will German as he just could not find where the puck is going so really a crazy power play there overall, and the Oilers do convert, giving themselves a two-goal lead here. So, LA pushing back here, trying to create some space. Shot there, gets deflected, but Samsonov's up to the task, stopping that one with his pad. Kale McCarr looking for space, finds the pass up to McDavid, who does unfortunately get poked out there, but the Kings setting up down there. 
turnover again at center ice. McDavid gets lined up there as, who is that? Walker just drops the shoulder into him there. McDavid looking to possibly get the puck back here. LA going to flip it in. And McCarr moving the puck up quickly as he does. Trying to find a pass. Hits the ball over to McDavid. Connor McDavid turns the puck over but gets it back and turns it over again. Raphael Lavoie over to McCarr to McDavid. Shot saved as uh, McDavid got lined up yet again. That is the second time in this shift that he has gotten hit pretty hard. Good poke check though by McCarr as he is able to you know, use those defensive instincts. And here we go, Edmonton setting up, looking to break out. Pass goes up to Pugliarvi, hits McDavid, streaking down the lane, couldn't find a pass. Over to McCarr, big shot, big save. As Will German is up to the task again there on a great slot shot by Kale McCarr. Lambos turning it over at the blue line. Edmondson really paying, playing with a higher pace. Over to Yamamoto. What a pass by Dreisaitl and what a save by Will German again as he stops that one. Yamo, another shot, another save. And wow, LA's goalie is just standing on his head right now. Absolutely fantastic performance either way, even though the Oilers just keep coming here. So Carson Lambos looking to get the puck up. He does turn it over to LA though as he was not able to move it quick enough. Tim Stutz though finds Toffoli in front. Big glove save. Ilya Samsonov. Great stop there. And here we go. Who is this? Atsuradi moving the puck up to Yamamoto. He's going to cut in. Find dry settle. Great shot. Great save again. Lots of good chances here for the Oilers and they just haven't been able to convert consistently here. Big shot, there's a rebound, but Lambos was able to get to it first there as Samsonov kicked it out. Merkley now at center ice, looking to find a pass, sends it over to Bouchard, over to Ratty. Atsu Ratty looking for a pass, find Peter, uh, Radislav Budai, shot by Merkley goes over the net. LA breaking out, here comes Schneider, poke check once, poke check twice. Finds the shit decision, I believe that was, and uh, the shot just went off the post there, but it was the outside of the post. Jan Chichar coming in, turned over by Piero Zabato. He's going to find William Eves down the wall. Eves looking for a pass, couldn't find it. Goes over to Bouchard. Bouchard to Thompson, over to Budai. What a chance, what a save again. Will German keeping the Kings in this game as Bure Boulet comes in. Pass over to Bjork and Anders Bjork is able to get the goal there as LA makes it a one goal game after Will German has stood on his head all of the third period for the most part and this is a one goal game ladies and gentlemen what a chance there what a shot by Anders Bjork and he has proved to be a driving force on this LA Kings team throughout the series here as uh, just a great shot there getting it past Samsonov for the first time in the third period here and really this is a clutch goal overall if we look at the time remaining here. So, six minutes left on the clock. One goal game. We'll see if LA can come back here. The momentum has most certainly changed after that goal. And let's see what the Oilers do to respond here. Barre Boulet looking for a chance here. Puck's turned over. Pass over to William Eves. He's got space. Finds McDavid up the middle. Connor McDavid over to Verana. That was offside. Didn't look offside, but it was. So McDavid and Eves only one and two points behind Kucherov and Jack Eichel there, two of the best offensive players in the game. Faceoff going to go over to the Kings here as they look to break in. Tim Stutzla gets lined up there by, I believe, who's number 74 right now? I don't even know who that is. It's not Ethan Bear. So, William Eves driving the puck in deep. Still holds on to it. Puck is going to get turned over here, though. And LA looks to break out. Lots of forward pressure, though. So, just three minutes left. LA playing from behind. Big hit there by Vrana as Dreisaitl is going to pick this one up. Loses it against the defensive poke check there. And this is, uh, this is looking like it might be tough here. So... Pass in front, great stop, Madison Bowie, that's who it is, Madison Bowie, that's number 74. He's cutting in, looking for a shot, finds it, Will German up to the task, yet again. Minute and 31 seconds left. 
until the Oilers potentially advance unless they give up another goal here late. So, not much time left. Time's honestly running out for the Kings here, so we'll see what happens. But face-off there, won by the Kings as they look to break out. Up to Arthur Kaliev, finds Wallinder over to Bure Boule. Back to Wallinder, good chance in front, and stick is lifted, and here come the Oilers as they look to move the puck forward. Pass to Lavoie, he does lose that puck there, but picks it back up. Raphael Lavoie, big shot, just misses the net. That was a great chance, and a big hit there by Dante Heinen. As the LA Kings pull their goalie, it's turned over. Dante Heinen, looking for space, gets the puck in deep. Drew Doughty picks it up first behind the empty net. Erickson Eck looking to get in, dumps the puck in deep, but somehow shot it over the glass. Okay, so just 27.1 seconds left. This game is tight, lots of big chances, but uh, Doughty getting lined up there by Heinen, the little guys, so. First line's out, I don't know if that's necessarily the best option here defensively, but McDavid does win the faceoff. Bouchard up to McDavid, and William Eves going to finish this one off, hitting the empty net for his 10th goal of the playoffs, I believe now. He has scored a lot of them, and uh, that is going to pretty much wrap it up here. Yeah, 10th goal of the playoffs, second goal tonight, hits the empty netter. David with the assist, and that will seal it here. 22 seconds left. We will sit and just watch the, uh, the celebration here as the Oilers will be moving on to round number three of the playoffs in a tight seven-game series here against the LA Kings. So a hard-fought battle for sure, but I would say the superior team did win this series overall. Carson Lambeau sending up to McDavid. He's going to turn it right over the blue line. Brennan saw him looking for the puck. And pass in front. Connor Sherry, great chance. Bouchard first to that rebound. And McDavid does get lined up there. And there you have it. Listen to this crowd here at Rogers Place. My goodness, they are ecstatic after a fantastic series to watch. A lot of home losses, but they are finally able to walk away with this series here in Game 7. Props to the Kings. They performed absolutely fantastic throughout this series. I can't believe we were actually able to beat them in the end. It was, I thought we were losing this series for sure. Especially when that 3-2 goal went in. That was just too close there for a while. So, there you have it. Just a fantastic game overall. And uh, the Edmonton Oilers do come out on top and will face either the Calgary Flames or the Colorado Avalanche. I believe we faced the Avalanche last year in the Conference Finals too. So, That wraps it up. Fantastic game overall from the Oilers there. So guys, that is probably where we're going to call the episode for the most part. Uh, we're going to check out who we're playing next, but overall, fantastic series from the Oilers there. As William Eves, 10 goals, 6 assists in 14 games, leads the team right now. And we have a battle of Alberta in the conference finals coming up oh this is gonna be fun i'm looking forward to this as the flames really do have a good team on their hands still there's no question about that it's more just a matter of who is going to be the better team heading into this series as both teams you know have gone on quite a winning streak here to get to this point either way so this should be a load of fun coming up next episode oh Ooh, that goaltending is not spectacular there. Obviously, Philip Gustafson, they are missing big time. Tyler Benson went to the Flames. Ooh. Ooh, that is an interesting one as well. Okay, so that is the team we will be facing off against next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed the live action commentary and the AI playing the games, then make sure you go down below, drop a like on the video, Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet either. We're trying to hit a thousand subs and we're just about there. 
Also, feel free to leave comments to get featured, and don't forget to turn on notifications to never miss when I upload. But that's going to be it for me. This is Etanios signing out, and see ya. <laughs>